Stay there, man. Stay there, man. A lifetime oh, ring lock guarantees it. This protection can last well, a lifetime. Some insurance policies and okay. will reach a certain age. Okay. Well, well that brick house that's there now, that nice, it's kind of a white brick, brick, brick house or a beige brick house. That's mom and dad built that house, sir. Garage unit and everything. I still can't hear you. Turn it down a bit more. Just for calling. I filled in all my important information and final wishes. No. Mom and dad built that house, sir. With garage on it and everything. Yeah, yeah. They, they built that house, sir. Well, how old was you whenever the, whenever they built that? You was probably already, what, 25, 30 years old, wasn't you? I was about 20, 65, 65. I don't know what I was. I was about 30 years old when they built that. Wasn't you and Louise together then? No, uh uh. uh, -uh. I thought you and Louise were still together. No. When did you and Louise get a divorce? Oh, we divorced in 78, 79. Right after Douglas got killed? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. He died in 76. Yep. April of 76. Yep. Where was you then? I was living in Union City then. You was? Over on 2nd Street, South 2nd Street. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad deal. I was working at it good year then. You was? Yeah. Well, Douglas had been working out there about a year, hadn't he? No, he hadn't been out. He'd been there about two or three months. I thought it was a little longer than that. Well, I wasn't quite that long. He worked up in the tower room. He did? Yeah. In other words, if you got a job back then working for Goodyear, you was basically set oh, yeah. for a decent career yeah, yeah. And, and be able to work and, and pay for your home or your car and you have a little bit of bank account and, yeah. and uh, live out the rest of your life in, in the golden years, right? Well, what's happened to that dream now, Max? What? What's happened to that dream now? Biden, that darn president we got, he's took care of most of it. Please warn him tonight. Uh -oh. Do you think? Do you think all this stuff that's happened has just congregated just within the past two or three years? Yeah. You do. Well, how come your mind ain't long enough to figure out we've already done went through about five or six different administrations? going all the way back to Mr. Carter, whenever the scientists went in there and told Mr. Carter, they said, Mr. Carter, if we continue to drain the oil from the ground and poisonous gas is going up into the atmosphere, this is what's gonna happen. And you know what that administration said? Get back with us whenever it starts happening. Well, Carter, he was the worst president we ever had. Man, I, I hated that man. You did? Oh, hell yeah. Yes, I was working five, six days a week when he come in there. Yeah. Hell, when he left office, I was damn lucky to work two days. You know what? That's how he screwed this country up. Man. Well, Nixon, Nixon, I thought, was a good president. Nixon was, yeah. Carter, uh, Reagan was one of the best, though. Nick, the reason why they got rid of Nixon, because Nixon wanted to end uh, the uh, no, Vietnam War, wasn't it? No, the reason they got rid of him was uh, all that uh, Watergate deal, breaking into Watergate and everything. What was all that about, Maxie? Um, politics, wrong Just, Just a bunch of... Watergate out and everything. A bunch of greedy people, selfish people? Yeah, they say Nixon was involved in it, so he, he just he resigned so there wouldn't be no wouldn't be no trouble, you know, he wouldn't be impeached at all this stuff. He just resigned. Right, right, right. Then Carter then uh a Rockefeller, his vice president took over and seventy six Carter went in there and man everything went to hell then. It's favorite wars I'll never forget that. 
his mom was all go to church and pray, paper. I said, yeah, we we'll pray to get rid of your dumb ass. <laughs> I run. He's still living, did you know that? I know it. He's about a hundred right now. His wife recently died. Yeah. I think they're keeping keeping him on almost life support. Yeah, he, he did he did make it to the funeral though. Yeah. He, but man, you could tell by looking at him, he was nothing but skeleton bones mm -hmm. and, and skeleton, wasn't he? Yeah. Sometimes you get to looking at, at the medical procedures of the way that they keep people alive for so mm -hmm. many years. Yeah. Sometimes you wonder if that's the the uh, humane right way to do it or if it would be better just to, I don't know, give them some cyanide and let them fade off into La La Land or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, a lot of them people, whenever they get old like that, um, they're feeble, they're crippled up, yeah. they're hurting all the time, they're in pain. Yeah. They can't think good, can't see good, can't hear good. I mean, as long as I can maintain my independence, I don't want to be taken out, but whenever it gets to the point that I'm nothing but a burden to everybody, then I, I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. Now, you said something about they almost get all of your check. How much How much is your check? It's, it's way up there. It's, it's enough. Like 4000 No, it ain't that much. But it's there. I, I don't tell nobody what it is. I see. But but they do leave you a little bit oh, every yeah. month. Yeah, yeah. That way you can buy your books and you yeah. and your knives yeah. and your Civil War stuff. Yeah. When's the last time you heard from your sister? Uh, about a week or so ago. Really? Yeah. How's she doing? Doing good. Is she? Yeah. Um, that piece of property over there in behind where Cecil Jackson used to live, you remember where Cecil lived that had Jimmy Jackson? Yeah. Okay, you said that our original homestead was on up from there on the left-hand side, didn't you? No. I see where Mom and Dad had that. No, not your mom and dad. On we're talking about, uh, I guess it'd be Jeff Jackson. Or Pappy? Yeah, Pappy. He lived right there where mom and dad built that house at. Right uh, there, in but, the store. Right there where the store was. Yeah. Was the store there then? Yeah. Now right back where that house was, where, where they built that house. There was another house back there. Yeah, the big two-story white house. That's there. right. Yeah. There's, there's an old well back there, too, if you didn't find it. A cistern? No, a well, a regular well back there. Where you can get water, fresh water with a bucket? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And I think the old pup house is still back there off the one side of it. So who bought that property? Did Jeff buy that property? No, uh, when Dad sold out, I forget, uh... Oh, I can't even think of his name right now. He bought that place. Ramsey? No, it wasn't Ramsey. He, he don't live, uh, boy. Boy. Well, whoever lives in it now, I mean, they take good care of it. Yeah. Mow the yard stuff, keep it all looking nice. I think there were some books that bought it. That, that, that store that was originally there, who yeah. built that? I've got no idea who built that. Or, or did it get drug in there? Because a lot of times they would drag houses from uh, somewhere else. Uh -uh, that store was long and built and everything. It was a, you couldn't have drug that thing there. It was built right there where it was. Oh, really? Yeah. And it was probably built, what, back in early 1900? Yeah, every bit of that. I was, uh... Mr. Charlie and uh, Miss Maud, they lived in the back of that, they lived back there while he was in the store. Charlie Marcus did, his wife lived back there. They did? Then he built that birth house of his right across the road from there. I got you. Built that in 1950, I think it was. That was a, well, that place is still there. Huh? 
That block house you're talking about, Senior Block House, is still there. I know it. And who was it that built that? I can't remember. The people that. staying in the in behind the the people that were staying in the store. Yeah, it's Charlie Marcus. Charlie wife. Marcus. He's he, the one that built it. He was the one that had it built. Yeah. Okay. There's two bedrooms. Yeah. A bath. There's a bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, then one big living room, one big kitchen in there. Uh huh. And. Uh, but I thought that uh, Jeff Jackson also owned some property over there where. Cecil Jackson. No, he didn't. Not over there, he didn't. He didn't. Over where the Brookses used to live. You remember the Brookses? Yeah. C.T. Brooks and uh, they was twins, twin two twin brothers. No, they weren't twins. They were. There's a little bit difference in their ages. Well, they sure looked alike, didn't I know. they? Like C.T. lived over there by the old home place. Okay. Everything so went down there, his old home place, and CT's, and you come up on Cecil Jackson's place. At one time, oh, my God, this, they had had some property back of, uh, and back of the Brooks's back there. He had about five or six acres back of land back there. Yep. And where you, Go up there, you know how you turn to go to uh, Reeves, know, Reeves, or you know, uh, Buster Crockett, and yeah, it. yeah. Turn there, went down that hill, like, right? You know, right, and before you cross the river or anything, you turn back to your left there and went back in the field back. You had to go back a little road back there, and about I don't know, six, seven acres back there. Daddy had, I don't know how he got it, he never did tell me, but he sold that. And, I don't know who bought it, but he sold it. I was in Chicago when he sold that place. Well, did it have any, uh, it wasn't just property or did it have a building on it? It wasn't nothing on it but property. Yeah. You know, whenever you leave Alamo Baptist Church and you're heading to Reeves, you know, you you go around them corners and then you'll go over that bridge right there where the old duck hunting club is right there. Then you'll come to the next corner to to the left. Yeah. Used to be a store back in there, didn't it? Uh, well, Simmons's or something. Wait a minute. Like that? When you make that curve there, okay? Yeah. You're going going down. There's a crossroad right there, okay? Yeah. Turn on that turn right and go back about halfway down that road, and that's where it was. That road right there. That road goes down and just comes back in. That that road you, you just turned off of. Who was it that run that store? Do you remember? I think it was Simmons. I think it was it too. Wasn't, I swear to God, it wasn't much bigger than this room right here. It might have been a little bit. It was Dan Simmons' father, wasn't it? I don't know who run it. S.T. Simmons or C.T. Simmons or something like that? It was someone, but or I was five years old, maybe six years old when I went in there. Yeah. And uh, they had a hornet's nest in there, and I still remember that. That sucker was... I am not seeing it. It was every bit of that long. They had it inside the store. Yeah, it was an old one. You know, they cut, they got all of the yeah. bottom so Yeah, yeah, right. So he was only five or six years old. Yeah. Was it? Was that road even blacktop then? No. It was all gravel, wasn't it? Or dirt? Gravel. Yeah. That that road down there. You go to the, go to you go down the high field, or you can go. To, uh, side on you. I remember when it was plum gravel down there. There wasn't nothing in the black top. Highway 89 was gravel? Yeah, long years. Going to Sharon or going to Kenton was all gravel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember when we went across Hoppy and uh, down there, we went by the old store there and you come around the little curve. And that guy, this is a one, I was one or two bridges before we crossed the river down there. Then there was yeah. three or four as we crossed the river. Right, right. Did you ever hear any stories about Danny D? What about him? Did you ever hear any stories about him? <laughs> Which one? Was it true that he, 
his his dad on on that beer joint down there. I was a stepfather. See, they adopted him. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, was it is it true that he went in there and and pulled all the keys out and threw them down there in a slew? I was I was running it open one time. Okay. Okay. They was all in there. Well, he did do that now. I heard about that one now. How about the monkey? Did you hear anything about him uh, biting a monkey's head off or uh, killing a monkey because the monkey bit him? I don't know. I know he got on the top of milk truck and rode all the way to Sheridan one time. Yeah. A Turner milk truck from uh, yeah. from the school there in yeah. Sharon. Got on top of it. I think about I think about gave that guy a heart attack. Yeah. Right. Oh Danny D, he was something else. Uh I think Danny D would have been different if uh, if people would have would have. Uh, he was like he was like that when he was born. He was. Yeah. I remember Sue. Uh, Sue bought that place up there. Left the damn dad. She bought that place where mom and dad had sharing, you know. And uh, Danny D was driving then. He had a little accident up in the. Martin, I never stopped there for it. Drove all the way back to Sheridan there, and back, back to the long come up there to see everybody there at the house, at that house. Mm -hmm. What kind of accident? Huh? What kind of accident? Just a little fender bender, you know, wasn't nothing major or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize that, but yeah, after, after your, after your dad and mom passed away, and they sold that house there at Sharon. Uh, the first buyer was was uh, Sue. I Sue Sue bought that house. I think she did. Yeah, I think that's how it worked. Cause she bought it from them, from mom and dad. Ma uh, Margaret, what was her maiden name? Her ma mama. Yeah, your mother. Margaret Jackson. Margaret Alexander was her, was her maiden name. Okay. And Sue, who was Sue? What was her maiden name? Who was that? Sue. What was uh, Sue's maiden name that married, uh, married uh, Mr. Simmons? Oh, Sue Simmons? Yeah. Uh, I remember the you know, time I tell you, because I knew her mother and daddy, and I knew her brother. Uh, her Lord, I worked with her brother one time. Well, who was he? You know, time I'll tell you, they lived over at Cannon Golf. Was a like sweet maiden name. Was Golf. Golf. Yeah. My brother's name was Jimmy Golf. I got you. Uh, I've yeah. heard I've heard that name, Golf. Yeah. Um. You remember um, David Nelson's dad? What was his first name? Wasn't Herschel, was it? No, there was there was a Herschel uh, over there. Um, I don't forgot it now. He done a little bit of carpenter work and stuff. He lived right there, like going to Hayden Macrights in that little house right there on the yeah, hill. I think I know who you're talking about. Wayne, was it Wayne? Wayne yeah. Nelson? Yeah. He's he seemed to be a pretty good old guy. Huh? He seemed to be a pretty good old guy. Uh. I was, Jimmy Goff got a cop from there one night. He told us to get the hell out of Kevin and don't come back. How about Mr. and Mrs. Mackwright? Did you know them very well? Hayden and Bonnie? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew them real well. I never get that night. They stopped over at T.F. Callen, stopped me and, me and Jimmy there. Callen, uh, what was his name? T.F. Uh, Kellen's in Kenton? Yeah. Kellen. Kind of a heavy set guy? He used to be a um, police chief for uh, T.F. Kellen's. Right. Kellen's was his last name. Yep. Worked hard on Jimmy Dunn. He told Jimmy to get out of the car, get out of the car and walk that white line. Jimmy walked it. Now I'll prove to you I ain't drunk. Watch this. He got over his hands and walked back there like that. Yeah, about on 45 highway. That's when TF told us to get out of there. 
Did you ever know the halls over that way? Who? Calvin Hall. That's who bought, that was where he bought Dad's place. Calvin Hall was the one that bought Dad's place. No, no. Calvin Hall lives on that other road back like, uh, you know where Frank Enos Hill is? Yeah, you turn left there. Turn left right there. Well, that's the one that bought Dad's place I was trying to think of. Really? Yeah, he bought that place. I never did know that Leon lived back in there. No, he didn't. But he bought, see, he had some land next to there, okay? Okay. And he, uh, but it was just property, right? Uh, he bought, yeah, he bought property. Yep, that's how it was. There was so it was Mr. Hall that actually built that house right there? Well, where, where, where Mom and Dad was at? Yeah. Now, Mom and Dad built that house, okay? And Dad sold the, what it was, Daddy sold the land and everything to Calvin Hall. And Calvin Hall had it measured out of some, surveyed out a little lot there and sold that house on it. And that was uh, a Brooks's or something, a woman. Well, her, her maiden name was Brooks anyway, but that, I remember her married name. They bought that place there. Bill Cooper, did you know him? He was he he was another farmer down there. Yeah. You probably knew Max Morgan. Oh yeah, we started school together. Max, you, Max did. Yeah. And you're talking about the school in Sidonia, the old school. Yeah, the old one. It's tore down now. Ain't nothing there. Did they did they t did they know how to teach any, teach anything in that yeah. school? Oh yeah. Really. I think they shut that thing down just about the same year we come in, come moved down there. I think it was either 66 or 67 where they shut that school down because I remember that building being there. Uh -huh. I remember it being there, but it didn't stay there long. And that's whenever the church members built a heck of a freaking church right there, uh -huh. a Baptist church. Uh -huh. And then uh, something happened. I think it was in the early 70s maybe, it caught a fire. They had a boiler in there that caught a fire. I don't know, I was leaving It burnt that thing down to the ground. I was leaving over here then. You was? Yeah. Doysters, did you know any of the Doysters over there? No. How about the Woodruffs? Did you know Mr. Heron Woodruff and his wife? I knew, Signa. I knew him when I saw him. That's about it. Yeah? Because mm -hmm. you lived right across from them, didn't you? At one time, yeah. Around in that corner right there? Yeah. You and Louise was married at that little house, wasn't you? Uh-huh. People used to say you, you used to get drunk, Maxie, and you used to uh, pull out a gun and shoot at her. And she'd duck. Uh, no, I never did. Well, that's what they that's what they said. I don't know if, if it was true or not. There used to be also a, a salvage yard right there. Huh? There used to be a salvage yard. I think it was a, a door that owned a salvage yard right there. Not that I couldn't remember. Oh, it would have been it would have been in the eighties. There was somebody that had a salvage yard back up there where y'all used to be. Ain't nobody left to nobody. It was. Um, uh, there was a brick home. You know where you turn down the road to go to your place? Yeah. That, that home sitting over there on the corner there? Yeah. The one that you used to have the real clear pond with the with the thing over it? Yeah. Maxine! Yeah. I like that hair. Thank you. It's been washed. <laughs> Yesterday. Nan got you, did she? Yeah, that was Mr. Ridgeway that had all those cars. He didn't. He didn't. He wouldn't sell a part off one of them. Uh, he put it. He finally uh, got tired of people stopping and asking him uh, about parts and stuff. And he finally put up a sign for sale. And then below it, it said nothing. Uh, that house when it was built had little apartments like in back of it. Uh huh. I can guess who it was that originally built that house. They had a little walkway over the pond there. Uh huh. That was. Uh, And uh, I don't. That was that was the Enos, 
No, it wasn't Frank Enos. No. Um, I don't know who it was. They were there. Who? That house wound up getting in the, uh, in the magazine, didn't it? I don't know. Yeah, that house wound up getting in the magazine. Now, right there, by the house where you turn the road on, you know, where y'all bought that, okay? Right. There was another road there that turned back to the right years ago, okay? It went down there a little ways, made a right turn and went back in there. Right. And there used to be a little pond like right there. Yeah, too. I've caught some good bass out there. You go down that road there. Did anybody ever live down that road? Yeah, there is, unless it's tore down last time I was back there. Now that's been 30 years ago. But did anybody ever live back there? No, it was bad. It was old man. It was, it was, it was just an old abandoned house. Of course. That road. So somebody did live back there? Oh, yeah. But that road now, there ain't even a road back there. Right, now. right, right. But, uh, that's all That's all uh, part of the Calvin Hall's property back in there. I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. If you ever get back down that road, find out about where that old house is at, or there's a pond back there, it's almost a lake. I mean, there's one big sucker back there. Well, you can you can also get to it uh, going towards Sidonia, turn left before you get to Sidonia and go to the Tamsin Cemetery. Yeah, turn down. You can go to the Tamsin Cemetery and then go around. You're you're actually probably closer going that way than you would be coming from 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 our way. Yeah, you can go down to the end of that road, turn left, and come out you, that road. That road used to come out right there before, where y'all bought it. That's right. That, well, I caught some nice brim out of that pond, too. You did? Yeah. I was up there in June one time, me and the wife was. And she was about, she was eight months pregnant then. We were sitting up there fishing. And then the fella come up, he was up there fishing, come up there fishing and said, you want to kill a little snake? I said, yeah. Damn little snake, my butt. This thing was over three foot long. Uh, Rattler? Huh? Water moxin? Cotton bow. Cotton bow. I couldn't shake it out of there. If I'm going to fish and pull around there, and that wind come out, took that rifle, and bam! Oh, he popped that head up and come out, come at me. I had that, had that mouth open just right as cotton. Was it you, was it you with us, uh, over there at at, uh, at Kelmer's Pond, we was over there uh, gigging, frog gigging, and we wound up uh, hitting a snake, and that sucker got wrapped around the, the pole and almost caused us to lo- uh, d- dump the boat. No, we no. almost swamped the boat. Wouldn't me. You remember that pond over there, don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's still there, ain't it? Yeah, it's still there. You used to have a, a diving board, and we used to have a big time out there. Yeah, right there. Uh, That's where I was given my, uh, basically, my first premonition. It was uh, on my birthday. By the way, I just I just turned 63, March 22nd. What is today? March 26th, 27th? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget it. It was 1988, and I was fishing, and um, it was back over there where all those pine, where all those pine trees was. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Maxie, um, something got my attention, and it sounded like something that was floppy, like wings, yeah. like a big bird, but it wasn't a bird. It was angels that come down, and I felt a thorn go into my top of my head. And when it first went in there and it, and it occurred, I thought to myself, Dennis, you're hallucinating. You're, you're absolutely seeing things or hearing things. So I continued on fishing, right? Oh, yeah. Until it happened again. When it happened again, it scared me. I throwed the pole down and I started running through that pine thicket until I got over there where dad used to keep all them tractors and all, all his combines and everything. He used to keep, keep them all in a row back there. Yeah. And I tried to jump that daggone fence 
and I misjudged the fence and my foot caught the uh, top of the fence and man, I went down and it's a thousand wonders. I didn't break my freaking neck. But uh, at the time I was driving a red Dodge little pickup truck yeah. and I left and went to Kenton. And as I was going to Kenton, hey, as I was going to Kenton, yeah. I was still feeling the angels placing a crown, a crown of thorns on top of my head. Whenever I got to Kenton, I immediately went to where Miss Aldell's, I mean, uh, Miss Lu Lucille's house was, mm -hmm. which was about two miles outside of Kenton, going towards Texas Gas. Yeah. And whenever I got to the house, Mom and Grandma always swung in the swing late in the afternoon. That was kind of their tradition. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget whenever I pulled up there, um, I cut the key off. And instead of me getting out of the truck, I fell out of the truck. Maxie, yeah. I fell out of an automobile. Mm. And I've never done that. Mm. And all of a sudden, Mama come running over there. Dennis, 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 are you all right? Are you all right? And I started laughing compulsively. I couldn't stop laughing. And, and she grabbed me up, Maxie, she grabbed me up. She said, what is wrong with you? And I, I told her, I said, me and Jesus are laughing. She goes, what are you laughing about? I go, we're laughing at Slewfoot, the devil. He's a liar and he is defeated. Did you know that they grabbed me up and took me in the bedroom because they thought that I had been drinking or thought that I had done drugs or something? And I hadn't done nothing, Maxie. I promise you, I hadn't done absolutely nothing. Now, I did a little bit of experiment. Smoking a little weed. How far up Clinton did she live? About two miles. Right there before you get to Texas Gas, you turn left and there used to be a, a, a pressure station right there. You remember the pressure station where it had all the lines and all the hoses? Oh, that, was, that was a big building back there, though, you know, Texas Gas. Well, that was on down on the right-hand side. They, she was probably about a half a mile from before you ever got to Texas Gas on the opposite side of the road. Texas Gas got its got own road going back where it hit and everything. Texas Gas used to be the best place in the world to work. Yeah. You know, yeah. after 20 years, they make you retire. Yeah. You got pensions and everything. I know. I, I worked with a fellow right at Goodyear. He lived out there, right out of Kenton there. Who, what was his name? Uh, when... Uh, McMillan? Lynn Sawyers. Okay, Sawyers. And uh, I worked for another one right there from Ken right in Ken. That was Brady Jordan. Yeah. They were maintenance men out there. Right. So yeah. you, you used to know Cotton that worked for uh, the hardware store on, worked on mowers and washing machines and everything else? Probably did if it was down there at Slanderson's. Yeah. Because I know Diane, and uh, I know her boy. He lives outside of Kenton there. He's got that winery. Yeah. And everything. Did Diane. you Did you know uh, old man Mr. Bill? Who? Old man Mr. Bill. Did Who? you know him? Diane's husband? No. It would be Diane's husband's dad. Oh, Bill's dad? Yeah. yeah. No, I know where he worked, though. Where'd he work at? Texas Gas. He did. He was, a, he was a big shot with Texas Gas. He was. You know, where, you know where she lives, don't you? Who? Diane Samson. Have not a clue. I heard if you go to Canada, you go by there every time. You come across Kenton Bottom there, okay? Yeah. You make that little curve to your left, okay? You go on up there, there's a crossroad, okay? Yeah. You make brick home on the left. You know where that's at? Okay. You know that crossroad right there? Yeah. That fine brick home on your left? Okay. All that property? That's Diane's. I didn't know that. Yeah. Her, her husband, they got divorced. He, he got to run around with another woman and they divorced. But see, that house has got that your gas in it. Maybe. It comes from Kenneth all the way out there, then it stops. 
And that's probably why. You know why? Because he had some pull. Because Bill Samson, her husband, Diane's husband's daddy was a big shot with Texas gas, and he had that line run from Kenan all the way out there to their house. Oh, but darn. And it's got natural gas. From there on then to Kenan, you can get natural gas in your house. Yeah. Did you ever know old man Dr. Jack? Yeah. Not Dr. Jack, but his his dad? There were men, it, well, I guess. Well, there was Dr. Jack there when I was running that. When I lived in Kenton, I went to him a time or two. Right. He, he, he was what you call a practitioner doctor. He, he'd, he'd tend to you, it didn't matter if you had a cold or a cut. He, he could tend to you. And if, and if it was something so big that he, he felt like that it was out of his league, he'd, he'd let you know, hey, you just need to go on up there to the emergency room in Union City. Yeah. He always had, he always had a business, so. Yeah, sure did. Mm -hmm. A lot of things have changed, Maxie, and it's still changing. Yeah. And, I, and I'm just afraid it could be changing to the worse. At, uh, we had, they built a new school in Kenton now, right out, right south of Kenton there. They yeah. used to have a high school there in Kenton at one time. Right, they do. Uh-huh. That's where mother, that's where my mother went to school at. Uh-huh, yeah. Betty. Betty Joyce, mm -hmm. that's where she went to school, eh? Yep. The old school, I don't know what they got, but it was pulled down a lot, but the new ones on the outside of the town, they're going out towards uh, uh, Rubble on right. the left there. Right. These little old towns are drying up, you know what? <clears throat> you know, they used to have maybe two or three factories there, the buildings are still there, but there ain't nobody working in them no more. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Says they're like tombstones. Whenever you fly over, yeah. it looks like tombstones. I used to be a brown shoe company there. Uh huh. Brown shoe. And company. something plastic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was plastic, plastic. What was it called? I can't even think of that one now. But brown shoe company, Lord, he started in uh, Jackson, come north, and he find brown shoe company. I know they had one in Dyer. I don't know about Rutherford. Is but any of our stuff made in America anymore, no. Max? And there was a brown shoe company there in Kevin. There was one in uh, Union City. And there's a couple of them up in Kentucky and then over in Missouri. So that was basically everywhere, wasn't it? Yeah. My aunt worked for the one there in Kevin. In Union City. And that's where she retired at. Well, Mom worked at Kelwood. Yeah. There at Greenfield for about 30 years, and then she worked at Rutherford for about five or seven years. Now that. both of those are shut down. You know why? Because the retail stores can get cheaper clothing overseas and have it shipped to us over here and put it on put it on the uh, clothesline for us to buy it cheaper than what we can make it. That one in Rutherford, man, that was a big place. It was bigger than one in Greenfield. Yeah, it was huge. Right, big. <laughs> And you know, whenever that factory shut down, basically Rutherford almost died, didn't it? Yeah, and there used to be a... Remember, remember Thomas Pate that sold shoes and clothes right there? No. Pate's, Pate's uh, department store? No. You don't remember him? I, I never did go around Rutherford that much. Did you not? Uh, slant and Slant, I don't know where you ever heard of them or not. Who? Slant and Slant. I have heard of them. They had one here. They had one in... Uh, what did they make? Clothing. They, made, they, had, they, had, they had one here. One in... Uh, uh, Troy and then one in Mason uh, and then one in O'Brien. Somebody said one time there was a Jews that lived in Kent. Did you ever know any Jews, the Shotses? I knew of the Shotses, but I never didn't know them. Was they really Jews? Yeah. That, uh, O'Brien, that slant and slant down there, man coming out one morning, one day at dinner time and killed his girlfriend. Right there in the, in the, uh, factory? Yeah, he chased her around there. 
They got into it over something before that, you know, and he was mad and he come in to work. She come in to work that day, he come in there about dinner time, placed her all around the place before he killed her. I think about 71, 72. Domestic, domestic troubles happen, don't they? Mm -hmm. There ain't, ain't nothing in there buying right now. Yeah, there's a greenery over there, and plus they got that thing over there where they make uh, make that uh, fuel. Huh? They make uh, make that gasoline out of out of corn. Or right, that's outside of uh, Orbion, though. It's not in Orbion. It's uh, right there at it. Cold Stewart, yeah. You if you go to Orbion, go to the stop sign there, go off the four lane, go to the stop sign there at Troy, and turn back left in the, first, in the last road going out of Orbion there. How more, about, how, how, right. I know where it is. How about Polk Station? I was told at one time Polk Station used to be a predominant place. All right, the only place I was there about was a big junkyard back there, and people went back there to get parts for cars and things like that. I don't know. How about Reeves? Was Reeves at one time a predominant place? At one time, it was. I remember when they had gas stations there, and you could, uh, they had a little uh, convenience store there. Yeah, I remember that. Could you get a meal there? No, you just get groceries or things like that. Yeah. And both the brewery lines had traffic on them. Somebody told me at one time Mount Pia uh, used to have a store over there that you could get uh, cold cuts and sandwiches. Yeah, it did. In Mount Pia? Yeah. What happened to Mount Pia? Did it just up and die? Just about. Why? People moved away and everything. Or then you got places like, well, uh, big grocery stores and- uh, Martin's. Martin's, just to see that. You can just run up there. Convenience. It's all about convenience, isn't it? Yeah. Especially whenever people start getting older, and they they want to be close to a, to all the conveniences. That way, in case of storming or mm -hmm. ice or whatever's on the road, they won't have to contend mm -hmm. with all that. And plus, they'll be right there at the hospital and the fire station and all the above. I know a lot of people that's moved just just because of that. They get old and they can't. They feel they. They, they feel uh, vulnerable because they're out in the country mm -hmm. and they can't really fend for themselves, so they move to the city I remember or I the was, town. I remember when I was a kid, I don't know why they ever done this, but used to every Wednesday come around, there were, all the business would close and everything going. I don't know why that day was, but boy, Saturdays, they run good. You could go to that share on Saturday night, everything was up front of them. It was. Mm -hmm. Now, ain't nothing there. And the, hell, I remember the time when you come election day when they had, you know, a, a boating or anything. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't buy liquor around here. Really? Not till after the polls closed at seven o'clock you could, but. From time they opened to the time they closed. Didn't they also have a blue law where could, businesses couldn't open on Sunday at yeah. one time? They had one here in Union City, you know what? What? He's damn lucky he better get a cold drink. Well, we live here really then. And one thing we always done, or I got the way to get, I go to the up there to store by us, get, get milk and everything like that, so I wouldn't have to. Going over on Sunday. Did you it. ever hang around much around Tiptonville, down around Real Foot Lake, any? Not much. How about Dyersburg? No, I don't. I never messed with You know, those towns that now you can get to in about 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes from here, that was almost like a eternity driving driving them old cars that had uh, didn't have no rack and pinion steering, and it was constantly fighting you. Going from one side of the road to the other, mm -hmm. and it was it was a it was a trip going from here to Real Foot Lake at one time, wasn't it? Yep. Or here to Dyesburg, it was a yep. trip. Nowadays, people get in their vehicles, 
and they do, they're just flying. They're doing 70 mile an hour. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about on back roads. Yeah, I know it. How about, how about down there at Beach Ridge? Did you know anybody that lived down there at Beach Ridge at one time? Um, I know Danny Coble lived down there at yeah. one time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, did you know anybody else that lived down there? No, I never did. But there were some families down there, wasn't it? I used to be. Yeah. I had a, I worked with a fellow named was Fred. I worked with him at the uh, airport machine. And he said when he was a kid, this had been back about 45, 50, they lived back there on Beach Ridge. And I remember the old house sit back there on Beach Ridge. How about the how about the big tree back there? Did you ever go to where the big tree was? Oh, that's on the other side though. Yeah, did you ever go go over there and visit the tree? No, because well, you, you couldn't get to it from Beach Ridge now. Oh, I know. You had to go around by uh, Etheridge Levee and then go back, like going toward Relaford to get back in there. Oh, the best way would be to go up, like, go to, like you go on the cannon. Instead of turning right, just turn left. You went down there, turn back left to go to Greenfield. Right. You went right by the place. Right. But I never did go back there. You did? Dad told me that, that one time, uh, or some of his uh, nephews or something owned a place in back side over and I can't even remember where it was. But his dad said at one time before that but when that big tree was still standing, you could see it from his porch back there. Uh, Roscoe Simmons. Roscoe Simmons. Yeah. In other words that tree stood above the tree line, probably yeah, what? Yeah, another yeah, hundred foot? Tree. You could see uh, yeah. it, it was dormant. It was it was, you know, uh, it it was huge. It, it was really a freak of nature, really, wasn't it? I just old. So it was probably here before the Civil War, wasn't it? I don't know. Or before the Revolutionary War. I don't know. What's all this? Peas worn Easter egg hunt later. We're going extra lilac this year. Really How are you feeling, Max? Oh, all over the map, like what's with the eggs and the bunnies? Yeah. 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 You yeah. haven't never gotten you an artificial leg. Why? Has yeah. anybody ever offered to get you a, a prostate a yeah. prostate yeah. leg? I think we're going to see something about it. The doctor well, talked to really me about thing. it. So I'll get forces to save the day. I don't know. Is it not what we hear? Do you do exercises and stuff? You don't. You don't. Keep your left leg limbered up towards doing exercises with that. Yeah. In other words, can you stand? Can you stand up on your one leg? You can't stand up on your one leg. Done lost all the strength out of your leg. Yeah. I just hate to see you in here day and night, night and day and. Knowing that at one time you used to be active, my God, there wasn't a day that you wasn't up going, fishing, hunting, traveling, carousing around, working on cars, doing something, going to work. I mean, there wasn't a day in your life that you wasn't active, Maxie. And it hurts me to come in here and see you like this, man, laying in his bed like this day after day after day. Huh? How old are you now? Hang in there. Chris, I'm going to intubate you. 78. Are you 79? You're good. I promise. June is your birthday? Yeah. I'll try to remember to come and visit you. Try to bring you some more sweeties. Mom and Dad married in June. I was born in June. My sister was born in June. And my boy was born in June. Bumped into the coffee maker at work with my belly. One of your boys. One of your boys. Is that is that Jeff? The one that lives in Colorado? Yeah. So he was probably born probably long by the time that my son was born, probably in 78, 79? Born in 73. 73. He's older than my son then. 
how about the Ramses? Has the Ramses did the Ramses always live back in that hop in Sidonia area? And you were or did they move 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 in from, from somewhere? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So what? You can uh, read your baby's mind. She was the one that had the long hair, wasn't she? Her, no, uh, Bertha. Yeah. Hey, Bertha. I think so. No, I can't remember. That. But she was the one that Moselle was taking care of, right? Yeah, that was her mother. That was her mother. Yeah. When my husband passed, I, I needed to work on my finances. I, I felt like I was starting from a blank That's slate. My dad's driving came into my life at a time I'm that I really needed. I never knew. My financial advisor helped me feel confident. One of them also lived over towards, going towards Sidonia, didn't they? Yeah. One of them lived over in Sidonia. Towards Sidonia. In a little old house. Oh, yeah, I think Bolina. And Dalton. That was during the time that Connie White was running the store. Remember Connie White? Yeah, he was running run a store up on uh, the Uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Connie White had a lot of kids, didn't he? He had a big old family. He had like eight or 10 kids. Uh-huh. Layman Jacobs, did you ever know him? Yeah, and I didn't give a damn for him. Oh my God, this is corny. Well, his wife just recently died. He's been dead now about four or five years, but she died about probably about two months ago. And I'm going to tell you somebody else that died that you probably know. She was married to T.C. Sweat, May. Yeah, she did reach to them down in the hut by the church. Yep. By Alamo. Yep, that's where she's still living. Right there in that corner. Uh-huh. That's her husband. He's buried there at the... Uh, I don't know, very that dog wrong thing. Uh huh. Miles Wayne. You know how he died? Uh uh. I think he died. And Trista was the number They were married, you know. And she was going to work that night. He said, You go out of this house. I don't want to kill myself. I got any kids, too. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take a trust over the ace in the hand. Or if you've had angioedema with an ace in the arm. Well, anyways, May, she she was almost 100 years old. She said that she was raised up down there as a child at Beatrice. Yep, okay, let me tell you. I don't, know, I don't know what her maiden name was. Her maiden name was Sweat. I mean, uh, her maiden name was Sweat, but uh, the brother she was married to, I knew I forget she his name. may have been a Miles or something. I know the husband's name, but I, I'm talking about her maiden name. I don't know her maiden name. But, but she was raised up down there at Beach Ridge. Now that husband of hers, I don't didn't know him that well. T.C.? Yeah. And Did you like him? I never did know him. Now, uh, he had a brother that was... Uh, Wait, it up. Thinking, thinking. His brother lived with his, his mother now. His youngest brother, Donald Sweat. Yeah. Wait, that's my program right there. Let me do this, okay? I'll turn it down. Now, the youngest of these sweat boys is named Donald Sweat. Okay. They call him Ducky. Ducky. He died in the car wreck. Right? Where at? A 105, right outside the road. Oh, man. And I'm honored to be the first ever Egyptian host. And, uh, that, I knew one of, I knew one of us, that their sisters, you know, that member switch, or words when she died, I knew them too. And the fellow I worked with out at Goodyear, I mean, out at Airport, Billy Sweat. That was his brother right there. Uh, he was. Yeah. And Billy had a, they had a brother named Junior. I knew Junior. And I knew Duffy. And I knew Billy. That was all the sweat. Did any of them get along? 
Uh, did they, any of them get along? Oh, yeah. Did they? Here and uh, Billy used to drop the gun, run drop lines and everything. Now, you know where Dan Simmons uh, owned that house before he died, yeah. after he sold that beer joint, yeah. right there, just past Miss May, yeah. May's place on that next corner. Yeah. I was told years and years ago that, uh, I guess it would be Monroe Ridgeway used to live down there on the left-hand side before he got down there to Mr. Penick's place. Yes. That was way, way back there. Way back there. He moved to Chicago, and I don't guess he never, never did come back. He made a business for himself up there in Chicago. Did you know that Cecil used to have Bible studies over at his house? Cecil? Yeah. Sure did. Well, Maxie, I pray for you, man, all the time. I hope that don't offend you, but I do. I pray for you, and I and I and I feel for you because the old, the Lord's been nudging at my heart towards telling me to come up here, and you know, a lot of times if you don't do what the Lord tells you to do, you'll regret it. And I don't know how long you got to be living at the age. Would you say seventy eight? But I I sure do hope you got things arranged right with the good Lord upstairs. I want one thing I know I don't know where I'm going to be laid out when I die. That's that's kind of uh, it's painful so I ain't worried about that. You don't probably be down at Alamo, ain't you? No. I'm more up there on home than I'm going to be. Alright, where are they going to put your body? Or, or are you going to get cremated? No, I'm going to Edmiston Mosley. Edmiston Mosley. Where, where, where is the cemetery? Alamo. I'll be there in At Alamo? Yeah. Over pretty close where your dad and mom is? Yes. Back in the back over there where you got uh, uh, that your boy that got killed in a fire? He's buried right down from mom and dad. I know. But you got a lot right in there? I've got one right in there. You do? Um, uh, not directly, but she works here, right? Yeah, she's my girlfriend. Anyway, her brother... So what? What's your opinion about that barge hitting that hitting that bridge? Hey, you know what they're saying? It's going to cost to rep to replace that. Two billion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Two B. The bridge was almost two miles long. What was that about? Well, what about? You and Ripley. Two billion dollars. Yes. The guy who doesn't believe in ESP. Trust me. There's. That's a lot of jack. It'd probably it'd probably take them what five years, seven years before they get before they get it built. In the, in the meantime, why couldn't they take ferries and, and have ferries ferry traffic? Cars would just more traffic in and out of there. And that bridge was high up. I mean, it wouldn't last long. He's like to see it day right now. No, of course them are, them ain't high at all skills. And I know what it's like to work off one of them. So you know it's a uh -huh. like Them K road bridges down there going into Kentucky, I thought them I never had like like them bridges. Huh? Look down? What a hundred feet, you know good well if that bridge was never got uh, cave in, you'd be dead. Or you look off the side of them, you know, and just slide in. And everybody says they're narrow. My foot fell. And then they built that real nice bridge going into uh, Missouri over there. Oh, yeah. You know, they say they're narrow. They want to see a narrow bridge. I, I know it one time. Probably up in Kentucky. Yeah. Four years ago. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get there. Kentucky, Kentucky had some really, really narrow bridges. I don't know why. All you got to do is go to Paducah, okay? Yeah. You just fall as far as five. Yeah. You go across it. There's a cob bridge. You know what? Yeah. And that trucker is getting sweet. 95 years old. Good grief. <laughs> Daddy said it opened in 20, it built in 29. Wow. So you can imagine how wide that is. 
but you can actually leave Missouri, heading out of Missouri. You go through part of Southern Illinois and then you come into Kentucky. No, Indiana's then if we gave it, that's a bit more town attraction. You go, there's a bridge that goes over to Mississippi right there. Yeah, I don't know. A cable over there. Two bridges that go into Missouri there. That's right. Like, there's the interstate bridge, and you can come off that Cairo bridge there, you know, like, like you're coming out of Kentucky on. Right. Go into Illinois, you turn left, you go into Missouri. How old's that bridge? I was about, built about 36, 37. I was saying I hated about that Cairo bridge because of all the children in the interior that they're incurred at the moment. Yeah. It's about like coming off Bon Eagle and going into Chattanooga. It was, wasn't it? Come off Bon Eagle and going in, into Chattanooga and same thing at the mall, that curve right to the uh -huh. I've been to Mount Eagle two or three different times. Mount Eagle's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. you, if you catch it just right, you can be up, be up there. Whenever the clouds start rolling in, and you'll actually look down at the clouds. Uh -huh. You know it? Yep. It's a high. I don't know what the elevation is, probably 4,000 feet or something. Of course, you can all also do that over there uh, where your sister lives, yeah. over in the Smoky Mountains, if you're sitting on the right peak. Uh -huh. Whenever those clouds come in, yeah. if you're up there high enough, you, you can actually look down and see the clouds. You know it? Maggie's Valley, Robinsonville, North Carolina. They got a Skyway up there. And I think it's about, if I'm not mistaken, it's about 55, 6,000 feet way up there. I've, I've been in the clouds over in the building. The time has come for a fresh Been in the clouds building. And a building in the clouds. Really? Yep. Where was the building at? Chicago. Oh, up in up in the high, up uh, in the uh, skyscrapers. Sears Tower. Where yep. the first time we went to the party, Cloudy, next time we went up at one, there you are, we're right in the clouds. How long did it take you to get to the top? Just seconds going up there. Really? I've had express elevators going up there. They don't stop. There. The John Hancock building, that was the first high rise at the top of the building. It is. And that ain't the first one. The first one was a uh, provincial building. It was 47 stories. Sears made its name up there too, didn't it? Yeah. The Prudential building. They got a restaurant in there. Oh, we're going to go there and never did. A revolving restaurant. Have you ever uh, got on a boat? Any of the uh, Michigan Lake? No, I never have. I hadn't either. That I know of. May have whenever we lived up there. I don't know. I don't think we did. You ever eaten a revolving restaurant? Yeah, they had one in Louisville, Kentucky, whenever my uncle lived up there. This one, uh, a convention, but it just slowly goes around. You, know, you can't pay that or nothing you know, yeah. or anything, but you sit there watching it, it'll just dee 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 go around. Yeah. That, that building was open and they go cut in 59 or 60. I can't afford that kind of living, because usually if you go up in those kind of restaurants, you'll pay about twice as much for a plate of food and you will one down on the ground because somebody's got to pay for that entertainment up there. Because usually there'll be entertainment up there. What, no piano, organ player, nothing up there? No. You, got any, you got any stories to tell me about Memphis? Memphis? Yeah. I know I stay away from that place. But at one time you used to love it, didn't you? I never had tears from Memphis. Even before the interstate come through there, you didn't like Memphis? No, I never did. That commitment is paid off with award-winning customer service for your own home. The closest I'd get to Memphis is I'd go around the middle to the road down there, you know. Yeah. I'd be about as far as I want to go to the Covington and then Millington? Yeah. Where the uh, naval base is? Yeah. Both need a car and driver 10 best. I'm used to it. I'd be coming back from... Uh, 
in Texas when in Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah. I wouldn't even cross the river there. I'd, I'd go back north on my 55. You'd go back up to uh, to Missouri, to Missouri, and, and get off there on, on that on that road, and then shoot over towards Dyersburg, wouldn't you? Yeah, come off the Dyersburg. Uh -huh. And you know what? Depending upon the time of day, you probably make better time. Depending upon the time of day, because if you catch Memphis just right, you're going to get hung up. Stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Nashville the same way. You can't go to Nashville at, uh, between 7 and, and 11 and between 3 and 6 in the afternoon. Stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Coming in, going east into uh, Nashville. That can happen sometimes. You got to swing off the road around Nashville and come out there at, uh, like this when I came uh, what is that, 841, that new interstate yeah. built around that? Yeah, that was that was a good uh, good expressway that they put around Nashville. You used to not have no gas stations on it. I don't know if they, I don't know if they still do or not. Yeah, I think they do. But it, it goes down towards uh, uh, Frank Frankfort, Tennessee, and on around towards Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Yeah, it's from, it's from out between Murfreesboro and uh, Nashville. So in the afternoon, we take that road. They're supposed to build one north of there. They are. In Nashville, yeah, just like the one on the south side. Most of them are on the north. Well, if they'd done that, it probably it probably almost hit Clarksville. Because Nashville and Clarksville is almost growing together. Did you know it? 49 miles from Clarksville to, uh, to Nashville, to the city limits, city limits? Yeah. Eventually, I think those two towns will grow together, don't you? I doubt it. The way the population is growing, the way everybody wants to come to Tennessee. You know how, you know what our population is, Tennessee? Huh? Almost seven, uh, over seven million people. Seven million. Now that was the last statistic that I got. That was probably about five, six, seven years ago. Heck, it may be up around eight million now. I know there's a lot of people coming out of California. There's a lot of people coming out of New York City. There's a lot of people getting out of these bigger cities, and they want to come to these rural areas now. Well, the one that's gaining the most population is where? Yeah, Texas is growing in leaps and bounds. So is Florida. Florida's growing in leaps and bounds. Yeah, because Texas they ain't hardly got no taxes on big businesses. I didn't know that. Well, you know, yeah, that's why they. Well, hadn't they been hadn't they been getting it rough uh, for the past two or three years with all those illegal immigrants coming over there? Huh? Yeah. You know, a lot of them people that lived there all their lives in, in uh, predominant uh, country communities. That they don't even feel they don't even feel comfortable living there no more because there's strangers walking around and you're liable to wake up in the middle of the night and see somebody walking in your yard. They feel very uncomfortable about all that, and and you can't really blame them, can you? The uh, the illegal immigrants has has uh, bombarded America, hasn't it? Who do we have to blame for that? For all the immigrants? Yeah, all the illegal immigrants. Biden, the president we got right now. Probably. I know it. I know that for a fact. Well, listen, I'm going to go. I'll tell you what he does. What he do? First day he went in office, he signed the bill there for a pipe by the pipeline they were building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop that. They were 30,000 jobs. And, wow. and then he opened the uh, border up down there. Trump was making them stay over the other side. He said, oh, come on over, come on over. And look at the mess we got. Oh, man. Hey, let me ask you a question, man. You got a scar on your right hand, right up here on top. All right. Right there. Or is that a black mark? No, oh, that's chocolate milk. Oh, okay. See? Matches the chocolate milk right here. What the chocolate milk? What did it blow up on you? I was shaking it. Gotcha. Did it come loose? Yeah. I'm like you down in there. I'm like you. I like chocolate milk. 
But I'm fixing to go. Is there anything I can get you or do for you, Maxie, while I'm here? No. You sure? Yeah. A little carton of chocolate milk. Got right. my name on it. So I'm gonna, I got you. I think it did. I don't mind helping you uh, no. do something or, or get something. Nah, that's all right. They just give me this today. Yeah, but that was probably a treat to get chocolate milk. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. I've been recording this, okay? Yeah.